Hey guys, um, it's Anthony again. Tonight, um, I want to go pull out a game from my past. Um, it's this game right here. It's called Fist of the North Star for the uh, old 8-bit Nintendo. Now, I know nowadays kids are used to Japanese anime like Pokemon and Digimon and, I don't know, Bakugan, all that stuff. But back back when I was a kid, actually a freshman in high school when the Nintendo came out, we didn't have a lot of Japanese anime. It was just like maybe Voltron, uh, maybe a little bit of Robotech. So to see uh, these Japanese type cartoons and stuff, it was really something special. And, you know, when I saw this game, Fist of the North Star, uh, at a KB Toys, I looked at the cover and I was like, oh my gosh, this game has got to rock. You know, it's got these two uh, big, like, buff guys doing karate, and, um, you know, it's got this guy in the background kind of all hulking in the shadows, and I looked at the back, and I'm like, wow, you know, this has got to be some awesome video game. And, um, well, anyway, long story short, I bought it. It cost 59 bucks, and, um... Let's see. What I did, you know, I, when I got home, of course, to play it. And I was disappointed. Um, you know that feeling when you buy a really, really, really bad game, and you're kind of like, oh, it can't be that bad. Well, this is the game, okay? Stage one. This is me. Okay. Walking and kicking and punching, kind of like kung fu. You know, it, it, but if you listen to the music and look at the graphics, you're just like, oh, this game is awful. And I'm just like, this can't be right. This can't be right. This can't be the same awesome game that I saw on the cover. And it is. It's just awful. It's just a really, really bad game. And um, uh, the funny thing is, when the Genesis came out, another game called The Last Battle came out. And I got this for just $2.99 at GameStop used. Uh, this is actually a continuation to this crappy game. And this game is, like, totally awesome. Way, way better. Like, a hundred times better. Big characters, super kung fu, and this game is just monotonous. It's just, I mean, it might look f like fun or something, but it's not. It's just, it's just not. I mean, uh, I found out Fist of the North Star was about this guy who uh, uses karate to make their heads explode. All his opponents die that way, and I don't know. Really, it's nothing but, like, limp wrist fighting. Anyway. So, I was disappointed. It cost 59 bucks. But, um, anyway. That's so much for, you know, buying bad games and getting home and trying to make them seem better than they really are. But, uh, I'm going to shelve Fist of the North Star right here in between Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario Bros. 2, hoping that in 10 years maybe it might absorb some goodness between these uh, really two good games. That was Fist of the North Star for the Nintendo Entertainment System.